we open it up. So uh, you can see one of the things we've done is incorporated a lot of the new uh, branding that you've seen at the show into the console box. Uh, smaller box, a lot cleaner, uh, ready for connect. Uh, as you can see, very simple, iconic package. But that's really not that interesting. <laughs> Um, I've got the accessories and stuff laid out. So this is the, the console, something we've been very proud of. Much better in person than lousy camera phone <laughs> Italian pictures. Uh, yeah, it definitely looked a lot bigger in those shots. Yeah, like, that doesn't look slim you know, you know, or <laughs> short. I know. I have to say, after it, uh, after that happened, the first thing I thought about was, "You got to be kidding me!" And then I thought, "Why couldn't they have had a better picture?" <laughs> <laughs> next time, maybe put like some fruit next to it or something. Yeah, exactly. Just for a quarter for size. Yeah. yeah. So we'll just take off, take this off. So this is the new console. Um, Really, what we were focusing on is um, really responding to our customers, the, the features that they wanted, um, quieter, built-in Wi-Fi. We're adding value at the same price as the existing console. The first thing you'll notice is we um, have uh, no, no more memory unit, unit uh, ports on the front. Obviously, we went to USB uh, support for that uh, a few months ago. Um, we still have the two controller USB ports. There's no buttons. Actually, these are not buttons. These are all capacitive touch. Oh, interesting. And I'll demo that once we plug it in. Okay. So you just rub your finger across the power button or the eject button, and it'll uh, automatically open up. Going to the back, you can see side, we've got quite a vent. Made it into a very cool design element. Um, super quiet, and that'll be the part where I'll turn it on and you can't hear how quiet it is. This will be the quietest thing in your entertainment center. Moving to the back. Um, we did a couple of things here. We added some extra USB ports. We know there's a lot, a lot of rock band peripherals, a lot of uh, Guitar Hero accessories. So now we don't, we've don't. we got some uh, additional USB. We have a Connect specific port right here. We're talking about the fact that the Connect sensor will work with every console, but on the um, original Xbox, it'll require a uh, power adapter into the wall, just a small sort of cell phone size adapter. That comes with the accessory, but when you have the new Xbox 360, uh, it'll plug right in without the need for power. Oh, neat. The other thing we did is we we, um, for the, uh, the hardcore AV guys out there, we moved the audio port to the back of the console, awesome. so you no longer need our proprietary uh, HDMI uh, cable adapter now, Great. so you can use your own uh, HDMI cables. Um, I'll move to the bottom. Obviously, oh, I should also mention, finally have a Kensington lock on the back for right. the college dorm rooms. <laughs> Um, the other thing you'll notice is this has a 250 gig hard drive, but there's no external drive. Okay. We have a slot now in the bottom. Open it right up. Oh, wow. Pull tab. And this is the new hard drive. Oh, cool. Okay. Will there be any sort of solution for migrating data off an old hard drive to this one? Yeah, we have a couple of solutions. Obviously, today you, we've got the ability to download a lot of your data off of Xbox Live. Um, we also, with USB, the, the uh, console has uh, transfer ability built right in, no so kidding. if you've wow. got a USB thumb drive, you'll be able to do it that way. And then for the guys, probably like us, that have a ton of data on board, um, we are going to start selling the hard drive transfer kits, okay. for basically for 20 bucks at retail. Do you know, is it the same transfer kit that's come with if like you, right, if you have the If you already have the transfer kit, the cable's the same, the software's a little different, because it goes oh, right. this way instead of the other way right, right. Um, on, the, on the, uh, the new Xbox. So, um, yeah, we kind of give you three ways to do it. I think most people, like me, are going to probably just do 16 gigs through your USB and then for movies and stuff and demos just re-download. So I, I don't actually think a lot of people will need the transfer cable. Okay. So with that, let's plug it in. You can see we've got a new uh, smaller power supply with a cable that's uh, a little more flexible. Um, we've reduced the power consumption requirements on the console. Um, it runs cooler and obviously runs quieter. If, we, if you want to hear the, uh, you can see you just press the button. That was a V. That was it. That was my <laughs> cell phone. Which, yeah. No, that was not actually your phone. console. <laughs> the first beat was the beat. The second beat was my cell phone. And then you can see here. Wow. Just press the button. Oh, cool. You can hear the sound. And it plugs in and out. But it's running. I can tell you I have a new problem with my Xbox 360, which is it's on all the time <laughs> because I can't hear it. <laughs> so I've had this thing on and left it on like for two days without even realizing Jeez. it. Um, so yeah, this is the box. I mean, it's uh, about 15% smaller than the older box. Okay. Um, packed with a lot more features. 
uh, packed with a lot less noise. Excellent. And uh, and you know you guys will be able to get it. You guys will get it soon, and the consumers will get it by the end of the week. Very cool. Uh, I noticed that you've uh, you've lost the kind of quartered ring of light. Is there? How are you going to? No, convey? it's still there. Oh, is it still there? Yeah, it's still there. There's just no control. Oh, no control. There's no control plugged in. Right okay, so okay. The, so the quadrant lights to, are still. You'll still in there. be able to see like which players are, are yep, connected. Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay, cool. Very cool. Any other questions? What do you think? Yeah, I think it looks lovely. Um, we got, obviously, there was a big issue with the previous Xbox regarding its failure rate and that mm. kind of thing. What, have you done, what work have you done there to improve on that? And how will it be represented on the console when it does fail in the same way as it used to fail? So, there'll be, uh, well, first off, that's behind, behind us at this point. I'm not really worried about it. The consoles that we're building right now, that obviously it's sort of something that all of us in this group are, wish hadn't happened. Mm -hmm. It's really something that's behind us, and I think most of you guys know with the older <coughs> consoles it was an issue. But for the last couple of years, the, the, essentially the problem has gone away. This console j is just an evolution of the work that we've been doing, that Leo and Alon's team have been doing over time. The box that you have right now, the box that you just bought, is one of the best boxes we've ever built. This box is an evolution of that inside. So the first thing I want to tell people is it's not going to be a problem. If something does go wrong, because consumer electronics, no matter how good you are, unfortunately there will be one guy that might have a problem. Um, there will be a, um, an error message on the front. It won't be uh, three red rings. Okay. What good would to, it be? Good to know. The, uh, there'll just be an error code. I think the center light turns red. Oh, right. Okay. So any kind of redesign? But no one will see oh. that. <laughs> No one will see it. Uh, any kind of redesign going on with the accessories or rebranding well, we or anything? Some, we made some minor changes to the controller just to um, match the new uh, black of the console and uh, pick up some of the glossy highlights. Oh, yeah. We've obviously refined the, um, the Xbox 360 logo to be more premium. I mean, really, what's great about this design is it's it looks like an Xbox 360. It looks like a modern, refined version of the console. And so we wanted to bring that sort of richness and that, that look of quality into the accessories. So all of the uh, medium fusion and chill accessories are all going to be moving to black to okay. the console. Is, is, is black the one and only color that you're shipping right now? This is the, the one we're shipping today. Yeah. Yep. Really? Okay, interesting. Uh, why go with the gloss? It seems like it picks up smudges, or it seems like the sort of thing that would pick up finger smudging very easily. Well, uh, that was a, a topic of quite a bit of discussion, and I think what we decided is, uh, I don't know how, that many people that handle their consoles on a regular basis. <laughs> it's not a cell phone. Well, when you take so, it back and forth from, say, your house to your office every time. Uh, that's true. Yeah. Um, you know, honestly, I think it just looks great. We, we uh, just thought it looked so much more premium, and it just looks so much cooler with the chrome rings. And at the end of the day, when you've got it set up to your nice HGTV at home and in your entertainment center, it just looks awesome. And uh, we like just the way it looked. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. Anything else? Uh, I think that covers it for me. Are you planning a, an update regarding revamping the dash and the experience surrounding that, or is, is that something separate to the actual hardware? Well, I think you saw today some of the stuff that w is happening with the new Connect sort of friendly interface. When uh, Connect ships in November, there'll be an update, obviously, to the right, console. Okay. Right so, now, this is running the version of the uh, the console that you see that you have today, okay. the software version. Cool. Uh, will there be any different configurations in terms of like hard drive size? Will this will there eventually be like a this but the arcade with like without the hard drive in it? Or so this like is that? all we're talking about right now. But we're obviously reducing the price of the existing box to one forty nine, the existing mm -hmm. arcade, and the existing lease to two forty nine. Okay. Wouldn't be a stretch. Yeah.